Hey guys, welcome to Bass Kicking Outdoors. Today is going to be a great video. It's the start of a new series. It's the end of summer bash. See, the end of summer is September 21st. It's about six weeks away and I want to do a giveaway series. This is going to be a really cool series. We're going to be doing a lot of cool, we're going to go over a lot of products. We're going to go over a lot of um, uh, just different fun videos, but during those videos, we're going to be doing giveaways and they're going to be every single Sunday. And the last video will be on a Monday because it's the 21st, but it'll be every single Sunday from here until the 21st of September. We're going to be doing a ton of giveaways to give back to you guys. You guys are so amazing. We've hit 1800 subscribers. We're going so strong. We did 172 in the last week. So amazing. Anyways, I want to keep growing this channel. And so I want to talk about the last giveaway. The last giveaway I'm going to give you a hint at or really kind of tell you what it's going to be if we hit a milestone. So if we hit 2,500 subscribers, we got six, seven weeks to do it, somewhere around there, seven videos. Um, and if we hit 2,500 subscribers, I'm going to give away a reel at the end of this uh, series. So the last video will be giving away a reel and it's going to be a $150 value and you guys get to choose what reel you want. So anything $150 or below, um, you guys get to choose. Uh, th there's so much stock level issues right now. I couldn't just choose a reel that I wanted to give away because like, I want you guys to be able to get it. So you guys will be able to choose from anything that's available. And I'm really excited to do that, but we got to hit 2,500 subscribers. That means you guys got to hit the subscribe button. You got to hit the notification bell and you have to share this video. You got to share this whole series because this is going to be a really cool series. It's not going to be just giveaways. We're going to be doing a lot of cool content and I don't want you guys to miss anything. Um, anyways, this video is going to be going over the top 12 things from iCast that I seen. Top 12 things, in my opinion, that really caught my eye that I want to buy, um, that I really just itching to pull the trigger on. Actually, one of them already pulled the trigger on. Um, actually, a couple of them I already have. Um, one of them's on the way. One of them I already have, and I've got to try out. But anyways, guys, this is going to be a really cool video. Also going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video, so you don't want to miss. Um, actually, probably be right in the middle of this video, so you guys don't want to miss this thing. Keep keep an eye out. Keep your uh, don't don't turn it off. Don't turn it off. Anyways, I'm really rambling now, so let's dive into this video and get after it. All right, so the number one thing on my top 12 items from iCast for 2020 is got to be the best of show winner, and that is the Old Town, uh, the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. It's $3,800. It's expensive, but this kayak is definitely a want to buy. Uh, I want to pull the trigger now. Just don't, just don't have the funds to do so right now. But you pretty much can't throw a dart and hit anything on YouTube and not see this kayak. Pretty much every YouTube fisherman out there has been getting these. Uh, Old Town has been doing a marketing blitz, uh, giving these kayaks to YouTubers so they can get this out in the market. But this kayak, from everything I've seen, from Weston Smith's channel to all kinds of other channels out there, this kayak is really legit and really cool. Um, just to throw out, so if anybody that doesn't know what the autopilot is, it is a old town kayak that they've specifically designed to uh, have a Minn Kota trolling motor with spot lock. And so you can be in this kayak, you can hit that spot lock button and stay on, stay on target and be able to cast and, and just catch fish. And so this is a fully um, motorized kayak that is powered by Minn Kota. It's got the spot lock feature. It, it, there's words came to describe how excited I am if I, if I could get one of these, but eventually maybe this will happen for the channel. I'm really excited about it. Uh, but right now, uh, it's, it's a no, but definitely my number one item. Um, it did win best of show. Uh, kayak fishing has been tough for me and just getting into it now. Um, I do have a bonafide RS 117 and it is tough. It's tough to kayak fish, especially for a big guy like me. Um, put a lot of effort into paddling, trying to keep yourself in position and really just having a hard time staying in position. This would be a game changer. Um, but maybe in the future we'll have this on the channel. So that's my number one item. Now, number two is going to be the motor guide, um, XI3 fishing, freshwater, uh, um, kayak or not kayak, sorry, 
freshwater uh, trolling motor. So this is meant to go on a kayak. This is a kayak version of their XI3 motor guide trolling motor. Um, I have the XI3 on um, my dad's bass boat we just got, um, the Lund boat. It has an XI3 on it, so I've been using that a little bit, and it is a really, really good uh, trolling motor. Uh, really cool to see that they're making it for a kayak. So what they did is they made it a shorter shaft so it fits on a kayak better. You don't have to modify it yourself. Uh, I've seen this on a SS-127 from Bonafide. Uh, Fluke Master had, it, had been doing some advertisements for it and put it on his kayak. And so I really don't think it'll fit on my RS-117. I don't think, I don't have access to the front area where it would mount. So I'm not sure I'll be able to mount it on that. I might have to get a different kayak if I was to get this, but this would be my number two. I just love the idea of putting a trolling motor on a kayak. It's got spot lock, really cool, really cool. Um, and really gives a lot of people different options. And this one's specifically made for kayaks. So that's pretty cool. Next thing we're going to go into item number three is going to be the concept Z S L D. Now recently on a video, I went over this, uh, and I'm really excited about this, this reel. It's got, it's got the braking system is on a slide. So it's actually on the outside where you can actually modify the braking system, um, on the fly. And so you, you can maybe, you know, don't cast as far, cast a little further, uh, but that's, that's pretty sweet. I, I don't know how usable it is or how much I really want to use it. I'm not sure if it's just maybe a more of a gimmicky uh, item, but I'd really like to try it out. I did ask for it for my birthday from, from my wife, so hint, hint, if you're listening, um, I'll, t I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, anyways, guys, the Concept Z SLD from 13 Fishing looks like a really good reel. It is $275, so it is a little pricey. At that price range, you have a lot of different options at a lot of different brands. So I'm not sure it's for everyone, but I'm hoping to uh, put it through its paces as soon as possible. All right, next we have the SLX MGL. Now, this reel is meant to be, here, I'll just read a little bit about it. Um, features Shimano's low inertia MGL spool in a compact 70 size reel. The MGL spool excels in the capabilities of both finesse and heavy lures, while the compact size of the SLX MGL 70 makes it a perfect reel for light line applications as well as flipping and pitching. So I really think this is going to be a good reel for flipping and pitching for um, maybe trying to do some finesse things on a bait caster. Um, I usually do most of my finesse things on a uh, spinning setup, but it's a really interesting reel in the SLX lineup. The SLX lineup has been great. I have the SLX DC, great reel uh, with that DC technology, but it's going to be cool to see what this brings to the table. They say it's even capable, uh, you know, it's got a really good braking system. It says it enables uh, anglers to achieve the ideal cast by easily making adjustments from the palming side plate to match changing weather conditions or casting a variety of lures. Uh, it even says it's got some power so you can maybe do, uh, it's got a good drag system. So enough stopping power. There we go. I couldn't get the words out. has a good stopping power. I actually have this one on order. Um, it's, it was on back order. Uh, I think it was just on pre-order basically should be coming out today. Uh, the day that I'm recording this. Um, so hopefully this ships in the next week and I get this and we can do an unboxing of it. And, uh, this is going to be for one of the Guggen squad rods that I bought. Um, and that's going to be coming in October. And this is actually one of the reels that you guys picked on the, I did a poll on the community tab. So guys, if you're not paying attention to the community tab, make sure you go over there, pay attention to the community tab so you can vote on polls like this. Um, this one with overwhelming majority, uh, 50 some percent. And so uh, the next closest one was like 20 some percent. So the SLX MGL 70 is the subscriber choice. And so I picked that one up so that you guys can see it and see what it has to offer. Next is uh, a reel that I really wanna get put on one of those rods that I'm getting. Uh, but this is the Daiwa Tatula CT casting reel. Um, this is a new one that came out at iCast this year. Uh, uh, it says offering angles a wealth of performance and value. So it's $130. So they're saying it offers a new set of performance at that price range. Uh, specifically designed to manufacture to bring anglers looking for entry level bait casters an entirely new standard of performance and aesthetics 
It's extremely palmable. The Daiwa Tatula CT casting reel weighs a mere 7.2 ounces and is a compact profile reel that feels great in the hand, making it a pleasure to fish all day long without fatigue. Uh, I don't know really what, what I'm targeting this one for, but this one's definitely on my radar to probably get. They don't actually come out till November 4th, um, so uh, maybe I'll pre-order it here in a little bit, but not sure yet. The next thing is, we've mentioned this one in the last reel series when I was talking about what reel to pair with the new Guggen Squad rods, and this is the Shimano Vanford. It did win best of category. And so I couldn't not mention it. Now this is basically the Stratic CI4 getting rebranded as the Vanford. They thought the CI4, Stratic has a bunch of different reels in its line, and they thought the CI4 was beneficial to have its own line and its own um, just kind of standards. And so this is the Vanford. Uh, looks really good, priced really high. So I don't know how many people really want to buy this at that price, but it seems like a very good reel. Next, we're going to go into some lures, and we got the Z-Man, this is more um, terminal tackle, but we got the Z-Man Nedlock EWG Jig Head. Now, I love, I love Ned Rigs, and I think this is pretty sweet. We got the EWG type hook, and this way you can really rig it um, for weedless setups, and I think that's really going to be a game changer. Um, there's some other hooks out there that you can do weedless setups on the Ned Rig, but I really like this, and so Z-Man's bringing it to the table, and I'm excited to uh, try these out. All right, next is the Rap V Blade. Um, this is a Rap V Blade from uh, Rapala, and I just thought it looked sweet. I'll show you guys a couple different colors here. Um, it's kind of like a blade bait. It's got some plastic on it, it's got some metal on it. Um, it's kind of a combination lure that I think would be a really cool to catch uh, multiple species of fish. Um, and I'm excited to try these out uh, on their website. They seem to be sold out, so um, not sure. I think that one's available. <laughs> but anyways, uh, definitely going to see if I can get some of these in the future and try these on the channel. All right, next, we have the 10,000 fish Yoda worm. Now, I tried this out the other day. I didn't catch a fish on it yet. Um, I used it kind of as a jig trailer, actually. Uh, it was in the mystery tackle box uh, box last month, and so... This 10,000 fish Yoda worm is really cool. It's got a really good scent to it. Uh, I'm excited to try this out more, do some drop shots, um, do some different type of finesse setups with it. Uh, I definitely have a video going to be coming out soon on that. Um, I got some on order. Actually, they uh, that package got lost in the mail, so they had to send out another one. I'm not getting as many because they were sold out more of, or of the color I was looking for. So I'm not sure. I might need to order a few more packs, but. This brings me to my point of the giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away four packs of these. Um, two packs to one person, two packs to another person, so two people can win on this giveaway. So if you guys wanna win two packs of Yoda Worms, you need to subscribe to the channel, you need to like this video, and you need to leave a comment. Um, leave a comment, your favorite, uh, uh, your favorite item from iCast this year. It can be part of my list. It can be something that you've seen that I didn't see. Um, but leave me favorite uh, item that you've uh, seen at iCast or seen that came from iCast. Nobody really got to go to iCast this year. It was virtual. And so it's a lot different this year for sure. Um, moving on. Next thing we got is the Plano Edge 3600 Terminal Tackle. Now, the Terminal Tackle box that we came out last year, the 3700 box, is is a really cool box, but it is way too heavy to carry, way too big to carry in a backpack. I didn't really like it for backpack carry, so I didn't do it, but I really want something for my Terminal Tackle that's small. And so this 3600 box coming out, I'm really excited about. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to give it, uh, I'm definitely going to get it as soon as it comes out. I don't think it's coming out for a little bit. I think it's like November, maybe. I'll have to double check that. But the Plano Edge 3600 Terminal Tackle is going to be a definite buy, possibly a good use for going back, uh, putting your backpack for going pond hopping. All right, so this is the um, Evolution Tackle uh, Largemouth Double Decker Mossy Oak Tackle Backpack. This just caught my eye. I don't know how, I don't really know anything about this company, but this is a really cool product. I think that it has um, a lot of good applications. I think you can fit like somewhere around six to eight uh, like Plano tackle boxes in there. Um, 
I don't know if it's the 3600 or the 3700, but I'm pretty sure you can fit some pretty good size tackle boxes in there. And uh, I'm excited to, uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I'm going to get this one. It's one I want to get, but right now it's been a hundred bucks. Got a lot of different things in the uh, irons in the fire. Uh, probably won't be a purchase right now, but maybe something along the lines for Christmas time, but definitely a good looking backpack. All right. Item number 12. This is the last item on the list. We've got the six cents Vega frog. I really, there's all kinds of lures that I cast. There's all kinds of cool lures that I cast, but the fact that six cents is bringing a frog, I kind of wanted to bring it up. Um, and I also wanted to bring it up that I want to see one of these in our six cents subscription box. Let me see a frog in the box and that would make me just, just giddy for it. Um, uh, I really think that would up their box level and I'm really excited to see this. You can't get the six cents Vega frog yet. I'm not sure when it's coming out. It wasn't on their website when I went and looked. Um, but I'm, it looks like a pop, it's a popping frog. Um, and I'm excited to give it a try. So that is item number 12. All right, guys, so I'm going to hop back over here to the Yoda worm um, and just give you guys a look at that. Uh, this is the giveaway for this, uh, this video. This is the start of a really cool series, guys. We're going to be doing um, a lot of cool videos. We're going to be doing a lot of cool giveaways. And I, I just want to thank you guys for growing this channel. If we hit 2,500 subscribers by September 21st, I'm going to give away a $150 reel to uh, one person. And that person will get to pick which reel they want to get, and I will send it out to them and uh, have it delivered to them. Guys, thank you so much. If you guys want to win the 10,000 Fish Yoda Worm, uh, subscribe, like, and leave a comment about your favorite item from iCast this year. Thank you guys so much. You mean the, mean the world to me, and I'll catch you guys next time.